Hola, bienvenidos. Nos da mucho gusto este, recibirlos en un nuevo webinar de Student World. Los valientes que se levantaron a las 10 de la mañana en sábado después de un viernes previo al, al Domingo del Amor y la Amistad. Nos da mucho gusto que estén con nosotros. Este, si nos pueden mandar un mensajito diciendo si nos escuchan bien, por favor, nos dará mucho gusto. Y bueno, quiero empezar este, este webinar... Eh, bienvenidos Leti, Mónica, eh, Giancarlo, Araceli, Ana, Angélica, eh, Tadnal, eh, Jonathan, muy bienvenidos. La verdad es que son ustedes estudiantes, hemos mandado las invitaciones muy seleccionadas, la verdad es un webinar que no queremos, no queremos que fuera de, de mucha gente, sino de gente realmente con los perfiles en, para una maestría en negocios. O, o para una maestría en, este, en computación. Entonces, National College of Ireland es un colegio jesuita de origen, ubicado en la capital de Irlanda, que está teniendo muchísimo éxito, tiene mucha demanda, sus estudiantes han salido con grandes opciones al mercado laboral, se han colocado en diferentes empresas, no solo en Irlanda, sino en Europa. Y tenemos el gusto de tener con nosotros a Harriet, Harriet Legut. How are you, Harriet? Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon from Ireland. It's very nice to be here. Uh, it, it's really nice uh, for us having you, Harriet. Thank you very much. Uh, Harriet speak only English and mm. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> But, no uh, Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pero nosotros sabemos que ustedes, este, según los datos que tenemos de ustedes, eh, de las diferentes maneras en que contactaron Student World, we know by the info that they send us, that they speak English. Bueno, nosotros sabemos que ustedes, por, por, este, por los datos, hablan inglés. Entonces, este, pues esperemos que disfruten muy bien que disfruten y aprovechen este webinar porque de verdad creemos que es una oportunidad. We have only few scholarships. It's a, a limited number of scholarships. That's why we invited you only. Uh, we invited only 10 students. We have seven already connected. So we are very happy for the success, uh, for the invitation. And, and well, we want to start talking. Uh, probably some of you are already in Ireland. I, I think we have two students already in Ireland, but for the rest, I want to talk about the, the, uh, the, the country, the economy, the education, and uh, the, 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 the location, etc. So, les voy a empezar por mostrar, este, les voy a compartir mi pantalla para empezar por ubicar dónde está Irlanda. Irlanda está ubicado eh, Aquí tenemos este, nuestro Google Earth, que está padrísimo. Entonces, este, les voy a, a mostrar dónde está este, esa isla pequeña que se ve junto a la isla de Gran Bretaña, que, que muchos le dicen a Inglaterra Gran Bretaña. Ese es el nombre realmente de la isla donde se encuentran Escocia, Gales e Inglaterra. Y la isla a un lado es Irlanda, la, la isla Esmeralda, pero ahora conocida como la isla de la tecnología, la innovación. Este, y la parte norte, que es Irlanda del Norte, y su capital, Dublín. En el centro de la capital de Dublín, nosotros podemos encontrar eh, National College of Ireland, como les digo, un colegio muy antiguo, de origen jesuita, es jesuita, por eso también tenemos estas facilidades, estas becas y precios únicos, porque este, eh, realmente no es una institución con fines de lucro, entonces, ahí ven ustedes la bahía, el centro, y muy cerca, a un lado del río, aquí está National College of Ireland, en el centro de, de Dublín, muy cerca de las oficinas de Google, de las oficinas de PricewaterhouseCoopers. Entonces, este, nosotros estamos aquí en las muy bonitas y eficientes instalaciones del college, que la verdad, tener estas instalaciones en el centro de Dublín es precisamente... Debido a su antigüedad, porque es un lujo, es carísimo aquí estar aquí en el centro de Dublín. Entonces, estos, estos son los edificios de, del college. Muy bien ubicado, ¿no? Entonces, bueno, pues, este, en principio, esta es la ubicación. 
Eh, el segundo punto que les quiero compartir es que, bueno, una de las cosas más importantes de Irlanda es precisamente si ustedes buscan en Google informe sobre desarrollo humano, hay un informe, un índice de desarrollo humano de la ONU, porque si yo les quisiera contar todas las ventajas que tiene Irlanda, la mejor manera está resumida en este índice de desarrollo humano que califica no solo la economía, sino la educación, el, el, la esperanza de vida, la estabilidad política, los servicios médicos, todo lo que necesita un país para considerarse precisamente desarrollado. Este índice de desarrollo humano pues es la calificación más, digamos, práctica que engloba todas estas oportunidades que ustedes tendrían yendo a un país desarrollado, como a veces buscamos en Reino Unido, en Canadá, en Estados Unidos. Bueno, pues este, este índice de desarrollo humano, para resumirlo, si, si nosotros nos vamos a la lista final de países entre más desarrollados a menos desarrollados, pues Irlanda aparece en tercer lugar. Entonces, bueno, esto también es, es una muestra. Nuestros estudiantes en la pandemia que estaban allá en Irlanda, durante cinco meses estuvieron recibiendo 300 y pico de euros semanales en apoyo del gobierno porque no podían salir a trabajar, para que se den idea de la economía y de los servicios sociales que tiene Irlanda. Este, no sé si los que ya estaban allá en Irlanda les tocó esto, pero todos los estudiantes, hasta los de inglés. Entonces, aquí está Noruega, Suiza y en tercer lugar, Irlanda. Otra cosa muy importante es que nosotros los mexicanos tenemos una extraordinaria relación histórica con Irlanda, nos llevamos muy bien, siempre aquí la embajadora tiene abiertas las puertas de, la, de su casa, de la embajada, hemos ido varias veces, la última reunión para despedir a los estudiantes del año anterior a la pandemia, nos reunimos todos los estudiantes que iban a Irlanda, los agentes y las escuelas, para que desde antes de salir ya se conocieran y fueran bienvenidos desde México antes de llegar a Irlanda en la embajada, pero bueno, eh, el batallón de San Patricio es un hecho histórico donde un, un batallón de 600 irlandeses que venía con el ejército americano en 1847, al ver la injusticia de la invasión y que los mexicanos eran muy católicos y ellos también, y que también ellos eran muy maltratados en el ejército americano, pues se les voltearon y empezaron a pelear del lado mexicano. Ganaron batallas importantes en el norte, pero al final los ciclingos los americanos fueron empujando hasta, hasta llevarlos al centro, a la capital, donde perdieron su última batalla en el convento de Churubusco y pues ahí murieron, porque los que sobrevivieron a la batalla los ejecutaron colgándolos. Entonces aquí está la placa que conmemora, conmemora esta hazaña, este, este hecho heroico, histórico de los este, irlandeses. Entonces desde 1847 esto ha quedado como marcado en, en la historia de México, eh, este era eh, John O'Reilly, que era el, este, su cuerpo está en Veracruz y él, fue, él era el, el, el comandante del batallón. Bueno, pues este, este es también un antecedente muy, muy bueno que tenemos este, en relación con esto de, de, eh, de la relación. Y luego otra cosa muy buena es que tenemos todo el apoyo de Education of Ireland, que es este digamos, el equivalente al British Council en UK, es el departamento del gobierno que se dedica a promover la educación en Irlanda. Y bueno, pues Irlanda siempre está buscando por, por, por asegurar este, la calidad en la educación. Es cierto, precisamente, que la educación de Irlanda es herencia de, del dominio inglés, cuando Inglaterra estuvo, eh, eh, fue, fue eh, dominado Irlanda por Inglaterra por siglos. Al final se independizaron, pero esta, esta educación por ejemplo, Trinity College, que es el equivalente al Oxford de Irlanda, pues este, este, eh, es herencia inglesa. Esto junto con el apoyo de la Unión Europea es lo que ha dado también este, la calidad de la educación y la innovación. Irlanda es fuertísimo en muchas áreas de la industria. Lo primero es la, la seguridad. Entonces también eh, Education in Ireland nos provee de todo el apoyo y la información para que ustedes puedan viajar con seguridad y, y y, y este, bajo las mejores condiciones y el apoyo total, tanto de los agentes como de las escuelas, como de parte del gobierno. La otra cosa importante que les quería comentar es que, bueno, pues Student World fue eh, invitado, Student World fue invitado por el gobierno a conocer Irlanda, ya tenemos desde 2017 que nos buscaron para empezar a trabajar con ellos, que es cuando Irlanda empezó a promoverse apenas en México, antes no se promovía, y bueno, pues nosotros estamos, este, 
muy contentos de que tenemos esta relación y esta comunicación directa con Barry O'Driscoll, que es el oficial de, 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 de Education in Ireland encargado para atender a Latinoamérica. Entonces, estamos muy contentos de poder este, tener este apoyo y esta relación y que ustedes sepan que la tenemos, porque eso es muy importante a la hora de las inscripciones, a la hora de las becas. Eh, eh, tenemos una beca del gobierno de Irlanda, solo son 60 becas. Esta beca de National College of Ireland es del 50%, pero si quisieran el 100%. Hay una beca del gobierno de Irlanda para estudiantes extraordinarios, solo son 60 becas, la verdad nunca la ha ganado un mexicano que nosotros sepamos, pero este, eh, pero bueno, este, este es un poco la, el ambiente que, que nosotros vivimos, este, ustedes ya lo conocerán ahorita de, de, de parte de Harriet Legut, la representante, pero bueno, pues este, este es nuestro viaje que hicimos nosotros, pudimos viajar a Lisboa, a Murcia, es baratísimo ya estando allá, nos dieron dos unos tres días de descanso y nos fuimos a visitar también España, Murcia, este, Lisboa, etcétera. Entonces, eso, eso es muy común ya estando allá porque el boleto a Madrid nos costó mil pesos y de ahí vuelta. O sea, que, eh, que tenga también la seguridad de que nosotros también ya estuvimos allá, que tenemos el contacto directo, que conocemos face to face a las personas que los van a inscribir, que los van a estar este, procesando, eh, que hemos hablado con los diferentes departamentos. Y bueno, ya dicho esto, ya conocen nuestra página web y todo, entonces yo dejo de compartir y le paso el micrófono a Harriet. Harriet, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carlos. Um, I don't speak Spanish, but I did, I did understand some of the things that you were saying, and I think that that was a very good introduction to, um, to, to Ireland, you know, showing the location of NCI is really important because we do have a fantastic location. And I love your photos of your, vi your visit to, uh, to Ireland and to Dublin. I recognize uh, the River Liffey and Temple Bar and lots of very famous places that you would have visited. Um, so, hello to everybody. Thank you to everybody for joining today. As you can tell, I only speak English. I'm very sorry. My Spanish is not good. So this presentation will be in English, but I hope that you will be able to understand um, most or, or maybe all of what I say and that you will enjoy uh, listening and learning to uh, things about Ireland, uh, things about NCI and what your student journey and what your experience could be if you choose to come and study with us at NCI. So I'm just going to um, share a presentation with you and I hope that everybody can see those. So as Carlos has introduced me, my name is Harriet Legood. I am a regional manager at National College of Ireland. I'm gonna do two things firstly. I'm gonna talk very briefly, very quickly about Ireland and the six top reasons that students are choosing to come and study in Ireland. Then I'm going to give you a little introduction to National College of Ireland, just for a few seconds. And then I'm going to talk about you and what you can do, how you can prepare for coming to study at NCI, okay? So Ireland, there are, as I see it, six main reasons why students are coming to study in Ireland, okay? To study, to live and to work in this beautiful country. The first is because it is a safe destination and it is a very friendly and welcoming country. So students generally feel very at home very quickly when they come to study here. Is speaking, and of course, most international students are looking for an English speaking destination. So yes, we have a second language of Irish or Gaelga, but you do not need to speak Irish, everything is done through English, education, work, daily life. We have an excellent standard of education in Ireland. The education system here, especially at university level or third level, is considered one of the best in the world. So it is a world-class education and qualification that you can achieve here in Ireland. There is an excellent student experience, especially in Dublin. Dublin is the capital city. 
If any of you are familiar with Dublin or maybe even already living in Dublin, um, I hope that you will agree that it is a fantastic city um, with something happening all the time. Um, and it does offer you a great student experience. And it is at a lower cost. So it is cheaper to study in Ireland than in other English speaking destinations, uh, for example, the US or Australia and even the UK. Ireland is a top location for global companies. And I'll tell you a little bit about that later in the presentation. But there are over a thousand multinational companies based here, making it a great place to work and to start or continue your career. And Ireland has a globally celebrated culture. So some of you may be familiar with St. Patrick's Day, which is our national day, celebrated all around the world. We have very famous musicians, dance, sport, uh, actors, poets and writers, all from Ireland, uh, who have helped to bring our fantastic culture all around the world. National College of Ireland was established in 1951. So we are going to be celebrating our 70th birthday this year. We are a government funded college, but we are also a not for profit college. So we have quite a unique status here in Ireland. We have almost 6,000 students and those students come from more than 80 different countries. Um, each year at the moment, we have uh, between 10 and 15 students from Mexico studying with us. Uh, it is growing each year, that number, but we have many, many different nationalities from every continent uh, of the world. We offer a school of business and a school of computing. OK, so we are specialising in these two areas. And we offer two types of qualifications. We have a honours bachelor degree that you can take or we have one year master degree programmes. And actually, we do have another qualification, a higher diploma, and I'll tell you about that a little later on. So that's just a very brief introduction into uh, NCI and what we can offer you. What I want to do now is talk about your student journey, okay? And the different things that you will need to consider and the different actions that you will need to take to come and study here at NCI. And you're gonna learn a lot more about us as I describe this journey to you. But the first thing I wanna do is let you listen to one of our current students from Mexico and the reasons that he chose to come and study uh, at National College of Ireland. So I'm just gonna come back in here and play you a video, which I hope will work. And I hope you can hear this and enjoy listening to Mario. Yes, he's watching well. Hey everyone, my name is Mario. I am an international student at NCI. I am from Mexico, the fantastic land of avocado, tequila, and tacos. And why NCI? Well, I did a lot of research when I was back in my country and I actually contacted different institutions when I was attempting to make my decision. The results, NCI gathers various elements that made it the perfect choice for me. Number one, the outstanding return of investment. Number two, it's an award-winning institution. Number three, great opportunities of scholarships for international students just like me. Number four, the international office is just incredible. They are very, very attentive. And number five, the location and facilities. The campus is located in the heart of the city near the Silicon Docks. Okay, so that's just one example of one student and the reason that uh, the reasons that he chose to come and study at National College of Ireland. So there are many, many reasons. Mario mentioned a few there, and I'm going to just talk about three of the main reasons that people are going to come and study and that you might consider coming to study at NCI. Okay, so the first is employability. Probably you're all thinking of coming to study abroad because you want to give yourself a, not just a great student experience and a great life experience, but the best possible start to your career in the future. 
And that is something that NCI can offer all of you. Over 90% of our graduates are employed or in further study within six months of graduating. And actually, if we look at our master's level programs, this statistic is 96%. So we have one of the most successful graduate employability rates in Ireland. How do we do it? Well, it's largely down to our award-winning careers office. We have a fantastic group of people who will work with each one of you to find out what it is that you want to do in the future and help you and support you in finding that dream career that you want to start, whether it's in Ireland or in Mexico or in another country in the world. Ireland offers you the chance to stay and work when you graduate. If you take a master's degree, you will get a two year graduate working visa. So this fantastic support from our careers office, combined with the opportunity that the Irish government give to stay and work as an international graduate, gives you a really good opportunity here in Ireland. The average starting salary for graduates in Ireland is just over 30,000 euro per year, but this will rise, particularly for IT graduates, and especially if you maybe have some previous working experience that you can offer alongside your degree from NCI. Here are just some examples of where recent NCI graduates are located. OK, so I know that Carlos mentioned, you know, some of the fantastic global companies that are located in the city centre of Dublin. We have an amazing number of IT companies in particular. We also have a very strong finance industry. But no matter what your degree, no matter what your focus is, there will be a company, many companies here that will offer you a chance to start that career here in Dublin. So this is just a small selection of the companies that our careers office will work with to give you potential working opportunities. So the second reason is excellence. If you are investing in your future and investing in a study abroad experience, you of course want to make sure that it is an excellent choice and a high quality choice. So the first thing to remember is that you need to choose somewhere where your degree will be recognized globally. And that is what you will get in Ireland and in NCI. It is a globally recognized degrees. If you want to go and study in another country or work, in another country, your home country or in Ireland, we will be able to give that to you. We are a four star rated uh, institution with QS stars and we achieved five stars, the maximum five stars in a number of categories, including internationalization and facilities and support for our students. We also offer a number of national and international accreditations and associations. For example, we are accredited by ACCA for our accounting and finance degree. We have CIPD accreditation to offer you with our Masters in Human Resource Management. Our bachelor degree in psychology is accredited by the Psychological Society of Ireland. And we are always looking at how we can improve what we are offering our students. Now, the third reason to mention is of course location. And we are seeing increasing number of students each year choosing Ireland and especially Dublin as their study abroad destination. I've already mentioned some of these reasons. It's English speaking, it's safe, it's peaceful. It has an excellent education system. It has a very strong economy. The most recent statistics from 2020 of last year are that Ireland is the only EU country which has grown, OK, which has grown its economy. So even with the COVID-19 situation, the Irish economy has remained strong. And that is largely due to the number of multinational companies and very strong sectors in IT, in finance and in pharmaceuticals. So Ireland is still a, a really fantastic choice um, to come and live and work here. You can work part time during your degree. And like I've already mentioned, there are graduate working visas so you can stay and work full time when you graduate. Now, there's four reasons as well or four words that I want you to remember from today's presentation. And they are these. Dublin is your campus. NCI is located in the city centre, but we want 
to ensure that you get out and experience everything that Dublin has to offer. And let me show you what I mean. Carlo showed a similar location to this earlier. This is Dublin city centre and this is NCI in the heart of the city. We're located within walking distance of some of the... Uh, sorry, sorry, Harry. Yeah. Uh, the, the presentation is static. It's no moving Ooh. the presentation. Okay. So I, 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 I was thinking that you are waiting to start to run the presentation, but I realize now that after the Mario's video, we kept in the first... Oh, okay. That's okay. The, Let me just go back into the, um, the presentation. So you didn't see two slides, but you didn't miss much. Don't worry. So hopefully, um, okay, let me just go through this. Okay, can you see this now, Carlos? Yes, we are watching the map with the point, different points. <laughs> Perfect, so let me go on to the map. I was just describing NCI's location in Dublin. Okay, so here is NCI in the city centre. And I'd mentioned that you are walking distance to some of the top uh, employment districts of the city, including the tech district of Silicon Docks and the International Financial Services Centre, which is where we are located. Uh, Dublin has something for everyone. If it is food and nightlife you're interested in, we have fantastic parts of the city to enjoy this. If it is museums and cultural centres or sports or live music venues or uh, world class shopping, we have fantastic shopping centres all across the city. Uh, or if it's parks and outdoor spaces um, and hiking and running that you enjoy, then there's something to offer you in that space as well with beautiful parks across the city. And this is just a small example, OK, a very small example of what Dublin can offer you, the student experience and the lifestyle that you could have and enjoy if you come and live, work and study in Dublin. So Dublin is your campus, not just NCI. And we encourage and ensure that students get out and experience everything that Dublin and everything that Ireland has to offer. OK, so. You're starting this study abroad journey. You're thinking, where am I going to choose? What am I looking for? And I've shown you some of the reasons that students are choosing to come and study at NCI. You're now going to think, well, what is it that I'm going to study? And I always feel that this is the most important thing. Choosing the right program is the most important thing to get right. OK, you have to get something to study that is going to give you the career that you want, and going to give you the skills and knowledge that you want. And it also has to be something that you're going to be interested in and that you're going to enjoy because that will make you successful. So what can you study at NCI? Just very quickly, because I wanna focus on the master's programs, okay? But if you are thinking of a bachelor degree, we do have a, a number of degrees in business and IT at undergraduate level. You can see that we have a general BA in business. We have more specialized degrees in accounting and finance, marketing practice, psychology, which is a very popular degree, and two programs in our School of Computing, a general computer science degree and a more specialized data science degree. Three years for the business degrees and psychology, four years for computing, it is four years for computing because there is an internship, a six month internship included uh, within those four years. And all of these degrees will give you a one year graduate working visa in Ireland. But I wanted to focus a little bit more at postgraduate masters today, okay? In our School of Business, we have, for students from any background, four degrees to offer you. So if you have studied business already, or maybe you've studied IT or engineering or languages or some area of humanities, you can choose from any one of these four degrees, management, international business, HR management, and entrepreneurship. 
If you have already studied accounting and finance or economics, you may be eligible for our MSc Finance. And if you have studied business or marketing, you may be eligible for the MSc in marketing. OK, so there are these six programmes in our School of Business at master's level. These all start in September and the top three or the first three programmes you can see there also start in January. So there is a second opportunity in the year to start management, international business or human resource management. Master's degrees in Ireland are typically one year or 12 months in duration. OK, so it is shorter than some other countries, but this is perfectly standard uh, and all of the degrees at NCI are one year in duration. I already mentioned this, but if you study a master's degree in Ireland, you will get a two year graduate working visa. So one year of study for two years of working. Moving to our School of Computing, we have uh, three specialist, very specialist master's programmes. Uh, cybersecurity, data analytics and cloud computing. Now, these programs are for students who have already studied a bachelor degree in computing or information technology or some area connected to IT. OK, so you have to have that prior academic experience and knowledge to take one of these programs. We also offer a master's degree in fintech fintech financial technology, a very fast growing area of uh, computing, of IT. You can take this program if you have studied computing or finance. OK, one of those backgrounds will give you entry to the master's degree in fintech. Again, these start in September. The first three also start in January and they are 12 months in duration. OK. And they'll give you a two year graduate working visa. So again, one year of study for two years of working. Now, I did mention that those uh, degrees in our School of Computing are very much focused on students who already have uh, a bachelor degree in information technology. If you don't have that type of degree, if you have a degree in business, humanities, maybe science like biology or chemistry or areas of engineering. If you have that type of degree, but you want to study an IT qualification because that is where you want to work, you want to break into the IT sector, then this is the uh, choice. This is the opportunity for you, the higher diploma in science in computing. OK, so why would you study this program? Why would you want to get into tech? And why would you want to break into that particular type of career? And why would you want to do it in Ireland? Well, because Ireland is Europe's IT hub. OK, this is where it's happening. And there is expertise in technology education and in industry. We have over a thousand multinational companies here, 900 software companies. It's the number one destination for US tech firms. So if you are looking for an IT degree and an IT career, then Ireland is the place to start it. OK, this is the best possible place for you to come and study and to work. We are very much a specialist institution in this area. We are very well known for our master's degrees and for this higher diploma degree. So what is the higher diploma? It's a 12 month programme. Again, just like the master's, it's just one year in duration. It has a low fee of just eight thousand euro because we do have a fantastic uh, scholarship discount that we are offering. It is for students from any bachelor degree major. OK, it doesn't matter what you've studied at bachelor degree level, anything at all. You will be eligible for this programme. And then you have some choices. OK, it's a nice, flexible option because you can choose to go and study further at master's degree level, because this higher diploma will give you entry into any of those four master's degree programs. And we will give you an extra scholarship of five thousand euro and then you'll have two years to work. Or if you don't want to study any further and you just want to go and work, 
it will give you a one year graduate working visa because this is a level eight program and therefore it gives you one year just like our bachelor degrees. So there is choice and flexibility and options in what you can do at the end of this program at NCI. OK, so that program, by the way, is the program that Mario that you heard from earlier in the video. That is the program that he is studying currently with us. He started in September. He will finish uh, this year in August and he is planning to start his career in IT in Dublin. So let me tell you a little bit more about these master's programmes. You will have two semesters of taught modules and classes, the first semester from September to December and the second semester from January to May. Each semester has around five modules. OK, it depends on the programme, but around five modules per semester. You have exams in January for the modules that you take in semester one and exams in May for semester two. You then have a third semester, a semester three, which runs over the summer period of June, July and August. And this is where you will complete your thesis or dissertation or final project, whatever you want to call it. Throughout each module, you will have not just the exams at the end, but a chance uh, to complete continuous assessments like assignments or projects or group assignments. And these will all count towards your final mark in that module and final mark in your degree. To pass a module in Ireland and to pass a degree, you have to achieve a minimum of 40 percent. And I mention this because it might be a little different from, you know, your qualifications uh, at home in Mexico. In a typical week, Again, it depends on the program, but you would have between 20 and 25 hours of class time each week. And this would include everything, your lectures, your tutorials, your uh, group work um, and your labs if you are taking an IT subject. Most students have around one day a week where they have no class. So this is your opportunity to to study, to catch up, to chill out. Um, maybe to work if you have a part time job and you will have your weekends free as well. And um, there is very rarely a class on a Saturday. OK, so that just gives you an idea of the structure. I know that many of you listening will be interested in the fees and the scholarships. OK, so you're on this journey. You've chosen your program. What sort of scholarship are you going to be able to get? What are the opportunities to apply for good scholarships at NCI? We have um, a very good fee structure and it is certainly uh, very competitive compared to other institutions, especially at university level in Ireland. At undergraduate level, our degrees are €10,000 per year, but we have a €2,000 per year scholarship. So you will pay €8,000 for your uh, bachelor degree each year of study. The higher diploma, I mentioned that there's a low fee of €8,000 because the typical fee is 12000 but we are offering a €4,000 discount for September. OK, so there's an opportunity to start your IT, your new IT career with that programme for just €8,000. The master's programmes are all €15,000. And there are a number of great scholarship opportunities at master's level. The first is we have academic scholarships, which are connected to your GPA or your result at bachelor degree level. So you can see there a GPA of seven out of 10 will give you a 2000 euro scholarship. A little bit higher, 7.5 out of 10 will give you 4000. We then have excellent 50 percent scholarships available. The future leader scholarship available for any master's programme and also the entrepreneurship scholarship for our MSc in entrepreneurship. These are limited in number. They are very competitive and they are based on the GPA of your bachelor degree. OK, so we are looking for students with a, a high bachelor degree. I would uh, I would say minimum 8.0 out of 10 to be considered. OK, and you will be considered alongside any other students who apply for these scholarships. But please um, apply. Uh, yes, Carlos. Sorry, sorry. Oh, so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 
Uh, it's only to, to clarify that the, uh, uh, the fact is that all, all master's programs have, are, are able to get the 50% scholarships, all the master's. Future leaders means all the master's, only that. Sorry. All the master's, absolutely. Yes, exactly. So the future leader scholarship is for any master's program. And then there's an, there's an extra um, scholarship just for the entrepreneurship, which is an also a 50% scholarship. But yes, any master's program for the 50% future leader scholarship. Exactly. Uh, so we would encourage you to consider applying uh, soon for the master's degree that you want to study at NCI because the 50% scholarships have an application deadline of the 30th of April. OK, so it might seem like a long time away, but the weeks go very quickly. So start preparing your application now if you want to be considered for the 50 percent scholarship. OK, OK, so definitely the program is the most important part, I think, of your student journey, choosing the right program at the right place. OK, and I've just given you a very brief introduction to those programs at NCI. So please come and talk to us if you want more detail and information about the programs that interest you, okay? So you've chosen NCI, I hope. You've chosen your program. And you're now thinking, right, what will life be like for me if I choose to come and study at NCI? I wanna just highlight four areas, okay? The first is settling in. Whether you are currently in Mexico or maybe already living in Ireland, it's very important to get off to the right start um, when you're coming to study at NCI. So if you are arriving into the country, we will offer you a free airport collection service. So there's no stress when you first arrive in Ireland. You will then uh, join a four week welcome programme. And this is an important time because it will allow you to join events where you will get to know your faculty, um, the international office and all of us that will support you when you're here, um, your learning support services, and you'll also get to know other students, um, students on your class and just other students from uh, different programs around NCI, and they will be your support network when you're studying. So it's really important to participate in that welcome program. And we do a lot of different things, a lot of events to start making you feel at home here at NCI. If you are looking for accommodation in Dublin, we offer on-campus accommodation as well. The next area is support. We have less than 6,000 students at NCI, which is great because it means that we can offer small class sizes. So your learning experience will be very supportive, very personalized because you will get more time to um, interact with your lecturers and your faculty. Um, and to understand the materials that you're being taught. We have fantastic academic support. And this is really, really important because this might be your first experience of learning overseas and it might be a little different. There might be some different teaching methods or styles that you have to get used to. Um, you're learning in a new language as well, not a new language, but a different language to your own. So you may need some extra academic support and we are ready to offer that to you across the campus. You also have the international office. We provide daily support to all students that come and study here at NCI. So no matter what your question is, if you're having any sort of difficulty, you can come to us and we will help and support you through that. Your well-being is, of course, very important, especially if you're living away from home and away from your family. So we have access to a medical center for you and a counseling service. We offer free gym membership to all international students. Um, so healthy body, healthy mind. Uh, it's important to, to have good success um, in the program that you're studying. And the last thing is student experience. The student experience at NCI is excellent. Um, we have a very active and very fun students union. We have a number of sports clubs and societies um, and access to sports facilities for you to enjoy. And the international office runs over 200 events annually. 
Um, so, of course, at the moment, <laughs> many of them or most of them are online. We are still offering so many different opportunities for you to, to have fun, to meet other students, to get to know one another um, and to just chill out outside of the classroom. And don't forget those four words. Dublin is your campus. It's such a fantastic city um, to, to live in. There is always something happening. Um, and obviously, we hope that as this year continues um, and the COVID situation is more under control and everyone is getting their vaccines, we hope that Dublin will very much reopen and once again be the busy, fun, dynamic uh, European capital city that it is. OK, so what is this journey going to look like? Let's just look at an overview. Number one, you're going to select your programme. I can't tell you how important this is. So important to select the right program for you and to understand the program that you are going to study. You're then going to submit an application. So you will need for the master's degree programs, you will need a bachelor degree with a minimum GPA of around seven. OK, seven out of 10 or three out of five, depending on your your university scale. OK, so that's the minimum. And there will be some programs that need a particular type of bachelor degree. Like I mentioned, data analytics, for example, needs an IT degree. So that's your first thing that you need, an academic qualification. The second thing, you need an IELTS or a Duolingo uh, qualification, some English language qualification that shows us your level of English. For the IT programs at NCI, you will need a six and you will need a 6.5 for the business programs. So you're going to apply and you're hopefully going to get an offer. OK, we can send you a conditional offer if you're still waiting on your final degree results or if you haven't yet taken an IELTS. That's fine. You can still apply and we advise you to apply. You can get a conditional offer. And when you send us the final documents, we will change it to a full offer. We're then going to make sure that you have achieved the best possible scholarship. So once you get an offer, um, you will then be able to apply for those 50 percent scholarships for the master's programs. OK, you will then look to pay your tuition fee and start connecting with NCI in preparation for joining us in September. So in the 12 weeks before the, the program start, we offer a number of online events where you will um, have lots of opportunity to start learning about life at NCI, to ask us all of your questions um, and to meet with other students who are also going to be joining us here in September. So we try and make sure that you're well connected before you even get here. And then that final part of the journey is traveling to Dublin. Uh, as a citizen of Mexico, you do not need a visa to actually travel to Dublin. You just need your full offer letter and proof that you have paid your tuition fee. So there's no visa process that you need to follow before you leave Mexico. You just need to, to jump on that plane and, and come on over. And then when you arrive in Ireland, you will have 90 days or around three months to register with the immigration authorities. And that's a process that we will, of course, support you and guide you through um, because you will be a registered student at NCI. OK, now that's the journey. But I know that it looks very simple when we when it's laid out like that. OK, and every student's journey is different. Everyone's needs are different and you will have different questions along the way. OK, so what we'd like to offer you is the chance to get a personalized step-by-step -step guide to your NCI journey. So if you contact me and you tell me what your background is and where you want to go in the future, we will start matching you with some programs that might interest you. We will tell you exactly the steps that you need to take, the documents that you need for your application, um, and you know what it is that you need to do to go through this journey and come and study with us in September or January or whenever it is that you want to study. And of course, we also um, encourage you and recommend that you uh, speak to Carlos and his team at Student World, that you get to know what your options are here at NCI. And of course, they will also support you through that NCI journey. 
So you will find here my email address and my number for WhatsApp, or you can scan um, the, the QR code if you want to connect with me on WhatsApp. And I'd be very, very happy to answer any questions or point you in the right direction of any information that you need um, to, to learn more about Ireland, about NCI, and about your future and where you want to go and what you want to do. Okay, so thank you everybody to, uh, well, thank you to Carlos for the opportunity to come and, and study, uh, uh, to come and speak to you all today. Thank you all for listening. Um, and I hope that you find it interesting and useful. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I, I, I think it was a really very good presentation. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, uh, to me, as agent, also it was very interesting. I, 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 I hope for the students much more. Uh, it was very concrete and real and practical information. So we, we are working together to, to support you in any issue that you can have in the process, uh, choosing the program, applying for them, uh, getting uh, accommodation, traveling, the flight ticket, tickets, information arriving, etc. I think uh, uh, Harriet, the student wants to demonstrate 3,000 euros arriving to Ireland in a uh, mm -hmm. banking account, only demonst mm -hmm. demonstrate the amount to the officer to, to get in. It, this is another important point to mention, no? Sure. Well, I mean, for for arriving, for actually arriving in um, at Dublin Airport, uh, there's there's two things that they will ask for. The first, well, the first thing they're going to ask is, hi, you know, who are you and why are you here in Ireland? And you're going to tell them I'm here to study. Um, and they're going to ask you for proof of, of what you're studying. Um, so you will have your full your full offer letter from NCI um, and you will have proof that you have paid your tuition fees. And they will then stamp your passport and in the uh, three month period that they stamp your passport for, you will register with the immigration authorities. And it's at that meeting that you need to show your proof of funds. OK, so that that money that, you know, will allow you to to stay and study in Ireland. Perfect. So we have some minutes, five minutes exactly. If someone <laughs> want to ask, we can pass the microphone or if you want to to, to chat, asking, please go ahead. Uh, Jonathan is saying thank you very much, Harriet. Oh, Araceli. you're very welcome. <laughs> Aracel is the same. Thanks so much, Harriet. So you're very welcome. Uh, I, I think the presentation is was so clear and complete. So uh, <laughs> Harriet is sharing uh, her WhatsApp. I just put my. Mm -hmm. My email address and my WhatsApp number, so you can you can contact me anytime. Um, you know, with any questions, because sometimes it's only when you start really thinking about it and and looking at the programs that you will you will then have questions. Um, so you know, just think about the information that you got today. It's only a an overview. You can't learn everything in one presentation. It's just the start. You know, um, and just know that that. We at NCI are here um, to help you and to support you. Carlos and his team are here to help you and support you. So, you know, don't be shy. Um, keep in contact with us and ask us any questions at all. Yes, of course. Uh, I have uh, one question. I think one of you students are actually in Dublin. I don't know if are you Araceli or some girl. Uh, I remember that Letty commented about. In this case, you can put in contact directly by WhatsApp with Harriet and Harriet uh, guide you to do all the process. And you, if you are already there, only following the, the same steps, you can uh, get the study permit if you don't have, have it actually. So for the other ones, uh, please uh, contact me to start the process. My cell phone is, uh, uh, my name is Carlos, Carlos Villaseñor. 
And my cell phone number is eh, 55-28-54-2709. Y mi correo es carlos arroba studentworld.com.mx. Uh, Harriet, do you think it would be possible to have a lecture of uh, some of these master, for example, talking about more in depth about the uh, curriculum or list course, the, the, the some, because I think uh, uh, about the, for example, I don't know if the master have the, the master courses have the possibility to do professional practices or co-ops during the, the course or, uh, typically, no. Um, most of the time in Ireland, the, the master's programs won't contain an internship or, or practical element because they are just one year. So there's no time. <laughs> um, we do have one program. The master's in cybersecurity um, has a, a 12 week internship included. So if you are an IT graduate and you're looking for a master's that combines some working experience, then cybersecurity is a, an option. Um, the focus at master's level is really to, to you're, you're, whilst you're studying, you're really all the time focused on the future as well. And working with our careers team, you will start to connect with companies that may offer you your future career. And we have around 200 careers events every year um, where students can meet with companies and, and talk to them about their employment opportunities and just preparing for um, you know interviews. So we have classes that give you interview skills and assessment center skills and just, so you're, you're really focused on the future. So although there's no working experience within the masters, there's certainly a lot of um, life experience, I suppose, that you that you get and those other skills that are so important to to, you know, finding a, a job when you graduate. Um, OK, Harry, thank you. Uh, Araceli uh, is uh, sending a message, a message. Yes, I'm living in Dublin. Araceli, <laughs> Araceli, ¿quieres hablar en público? Te paso el micrófono o, o ya quedamos así. Um, in the meantime, I want to ask you another question, Harriet. Do you have English courses or some pathway agreement with English schools? Araceli is joining the room. Oh. Joining the room. Araceli, how, ¿cómo estás, Araceli? Yeah. Can you hear me? Ah, it's, it's connected. We can hear you. Yes. yes, thank you. <laughs> so I'm living in Dublin. But uh, I have a question because uh, my my visa expire expired until Expires. expire mm -hmm. until April. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I if I need to leave Dublin because the 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 course gonna be a start in, on September. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm really confused about that. Can I ask, have you have you used the maximum numbers of um, visa renewals um, for English language, for example? Uh, it's my my last course in English. It's your last course. Yeah, yes. sure. Uh, you know, I well, firstly, I think connect with me directly because you know it's a it's a personal i suppose question and experience for you and and i can maybe give you a little bit more information but you know um usually what we find is that even though there is the the gap over the summer that it's you know it's it's okay um once you show that you have applied for your program and uh received your offer letter um, and maybe even paid your tuition fee or some of your tuition fee, you can get a, you know, a temporary um, renewal for your visa that will maybe take you to September. And then when you show that you are enrolled and starting the program, you will get another renewal for one year. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a situation that we have many students in every year. Um, yeah. So you're not students and you won't be the last students to be in this situation and it's it, it usually works out fine um 
you know, that you can look for a, a temporary um, registration um, or, you know, you'll just go in September and, and that's when you'll register again. But why don't you maybe connect with me directly and, and we can help you through that. Uh, as soon as possible, I will do it. I will connect. Right. Yeah, sure. Just let me know. And if there's anything I can do to help, um, you know, oh, I'm, right. I'm, I'm yes, here to help. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. It's cold uh, here in Dublin, you. right? <laughs> yes, yes, That's why I'm wearing my cold. jumper. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, Araceli, uh, uh, I'm curious about what, what master are you interested in? Um, I'm interested in date uh, because I, I, I'm, I'm engineering in mechatronic. So uh, I'm interested in, I, I need to check because uh, I didn't choose uh, once, but I, I need to check. Probably yes. the higher diploma for, the, for data science would be fine. Okay. And uh, at what yeah. English school have you been studying English in Dublin? Um, the name of my school is Academic Bridge. I don't know if, if you know about that. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you have received the, the the money support from the government during the during the pandemic. Yes. Yes. I I still receive because uh, in my last work, uh, it's it's closed. It's mm -hmm. not open. So now I I I don't I don't have work. But yes, I, I that is you good because yes. Yeah, the government, um, so those those of you who are listening, the government of Ireland when uh the pandemic began last year, nearly one year ago now, uh obviously many businesses have closed, you know, for long periods of time or or for you know some periods of time and uh, those who were affected, those who have been out of work, um, have been able to uh, take some uh, a payment from the government, a, a weekly payment, um, because the you know because the government is forcing lots of uh, businesses to close, and um, many of our international students who were working part time um, were also able to claim this uh, unemployment benefit, which was you know great because it. At least helps, um, you know, to uh, students, um, you know, students like you to to stay and to continue their studies. Ah uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> Good. Okay, well, yeah. we hope it will start to improve uh, okay, soon. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you, and and yeah. get in contact, and we'll talk again. Okay. See you. Thanks to you, thank you. Araceli. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much for information because really I I have to check because I really want to study my master. Sure. Uh, and you will. And you will. You will. Thank you. Araceli, I, 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 I want to leave you the Letty's cell phone number also because I think you have been talking with Letty, right? Yes, right. Yes. Do you have the, her cell phone or not? Yes, I have her WhatsApp. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much for all of you. Thank you, Harriet. I really enjoy your presentation. It's a very good option. It's a very good presentation. This direct support with you through WhatsApp or, or email, etc., is is also not very common. Mm -hmm. The students can think that everybody uh, give us uh, their their cell phone number, but no, <laughs> it's not very common. So it's also an extra support point, very important to take note about. Okay, mm -hmm. muchas gracias. Les agradezco muchísimo. Estoy muy contento de haber presentado esta excelente opción. I'm very happy having you and this amazing opportunity with National College of Ireland in Dublin. Thank you very much.
you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Carlos. Bye-bye. Bye. Please have it click in the red button to okay. finish it, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.